hello friends welcome to my channel in today's video i'll share this uh, crochet flower this flower is called charpera so this one you can use as a hair clip or a brooch so if you like my video then please do like share and subscribe my channel so to make this flower what you need so at first i have used it crochet hook size of 0.75 mm now cotton thread three color i have used now scissors and small beads needle and fabric glue so at first we'll make the magic ring here i have used two color of means two shade of pink so that inner one i have used that light shade pink and the outer one i have used a little bit darker color so with the darker one i'm making that magic ring now six single crochet I i'm making now here six single crochet is done now i'm making the slip stitch on the first chain or first single crochet you can say so i'm making the slip stitch to close the round now we'll start the second round for that one at first i'll make one chain now on each stitch you just make two single crochet first single crochet now second single crochet like six a single cross that means six into two so total 12 single cross you will get on this second round on each stitch i'm making two single cross can see now I'm making that slip stitch on the first stitch on that second round now after that we'll start the third round at the same way at first make the one make one chain now on the first stitch you make one single crochet now on the second stitch you make increase so increase means two single crochet in the same stitch so on the first stitch you make one single crochet now on the second stitch make two single crochet actually this one if you make that circle the rules is on each round you have to um, count the stitch like means on the second round so that's why two stitch third round one single crochet then increase means one plus two three stitch like that okay so here we'll start that fourth round first one make one chain then on the first stitch i'll make one single crochet and second stitch also one single crochet now on the third stitch we'll make increase means two single crochet so on third you can see that total three stitches there one plus one plus two and on each round I'm making the slip stitch to close the round perfectly I hope you understand how I'm making that circle means each round you have to make the same number of stitches so here I'm making the rest of the things now you can see here I am closing the round so I am making that slip stitch on the first stitch and now we will make the petal so for that one I am making 12 chain 12 chain so here you can see 12 chain is done now first chain i am skip i am 
starting from the second chain so on the second chain you just make slip stitch first slip stitch now on the next one i am making one single crochet single crochet done now we will make half double crochet so here eight half double crochet you have to make eight half double crochet guys if you have any kind of uh, trouble to understand then you please comment me i'll try to solve your all queries So all the half double crochet is done now here i am making one single crochet single crochet is done now we will make the slip stitch on the next next stitch okay making the slip stitch okay now we will make 12 chains now now on the same way i will make the next petal also so here you can see 12 chain is done now the first chain will skip and on the second chain we'll make the slip stitch here you can see i'm making the slip stitch here okay now on the second chain i'm making um, one single crochet actually this is not the second this is the third one now on the from the fourth one i'm making half double crochet so total eight half double crochet now on the last I'll make one single crochet so here on the last chain I'll make one single crochet and then we'll make one slip stitch on the next stitch like that all the rest of the petals i'll do like the same way we'll do the rest of the petals so we'll come after that so here you can see that all the petals has done okay now we'll make the inner inner one this is the outer one is done so for that inner one i have chosen that uh, light color of pink set so for that one at first we'll make magic ring now we'll make six single crochet like the same way we'll do here also so on the first round we'll make six single crochet now we'll make slip stitch on the first single crochet to close the round now i'll make one chain now on the second round we'll make two single crochet in each stitch so here total 12 stitches i'll get after the second round the 
the second round also done now i'm making the slip stitch to close the round so now i'm making one chain we'll start the third round so for third round also we'll make one single crochet then on the next stitch we'll make increase So now we'll make slip stitch to close the round. Now, now I'm making one chain and we'll start the round fourth. So in round fourth, we make back loop only. B L O means on the back loop we make single crochet. So first stitch I have made one single crochet second stitch also one single crochet on the back loop now on the third stitch we will make two single crochet in the same stitch means increase so all the stitches will make in back loop only the round to make the slip stitch so here I'm making the slip, the slip stitch now we'll start the flower pattern so for that one we'll make 10 chain 10 chain is done now on the first chain we'll skip we'll start from the second chain so at first we make so first we make slip stitch second we make one single crochet then we make seven half double crochet seven half double crochet As you can see I have made all the half double crossing till the last chain now we make the slip stitch so here I am gap one stitch on and making the slip stitch on the next stitch so like the same way we make 10 chain again for the second petal so here 10 chain is done now we'll skip the first chain and we'll start from the second chain so for the second chain we'll make slip stitch one slip stitch now next one single crochet and then we make half double crochet so total seven half double crochet we make
then we make the slip stitch on the next stitch means we'll skip one stitch and on the next stitch we'll make the slip stitch so like the same way we just do the rest of the petals and that inner yellow color part also we'll make the parallel so for that one at first make a, a slip knot with the yellow color thread now on the third round that uh, front loop stitches i am making the inner part so for that one at first we'll make seven chain seven chain now we'll make the slip stitch on the on the same stitch now on the next stitch again we'll make the slip stitch and we'll make seven chain
so here you are, I am taking that black color beads so this is very small beads so at first I'll fix it with the needle then we fix it with the glue uh, I'll apply the glue also to fix it with the proper position you can see I have fixed all the beads now we will apply the glue to fix that both part this is the fabric glue I am using so this flower you can use as a hair clip or as a brooch so if you like my video then please do like share and subscribe so thank you